So let's go ahead and move on to topic number three right here. Having to do with that good old Disney Plus mm. and the subscriptions that they trying to add to their platform is making some people happy, but it's pissing a lot of people <laughs> off. And who are those people? Let's talk about it. Third topic right here. Disney faces black backlash for adding Daredevil and Defenders from Parents TV Group. Mm. Y'all, I'm just going to say, again, if you're watching this via live or in the replay, there's a link down to it in the description box of this video. But as soon as I saw this headline, I thought it was a joke. I was like, this is not real. Somebody's trolling. And I kept reading the article like, yeah, they're going to be like, this is from the Onion or whatever. Yeah. And I was like, no, this is a real thing. And so while Marvel fans have been rejoicing the pending arrival of the Defender shows on Disney Plus following their removal from Netflix, there are some who are frustrated by the decision to add shows to the service. The members of the Parents Television Council, this is a real thing, <laughs> are voicing their issues with Disney's choice to add to the more adult-themed shows to the family branding of Disney+. Plus. On Thursday, the PTC released a statement condemning the decision, saying it could destroy the Disney mm. brand. Wow. For more than 98 years, the Walt Disney Company has been synonymous mm. with the words mm. family-friendly. And I think of no other corporation in American history that has been built more squarely on the backs. I was about to say blacks. <laughs> 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 and on the wallets of parents and families. Current Television and Media Council President Tim Winter said in a statement, the company's eponymous platform, Disney Plus, logically marketed itself as a family-friendly streaming service, which is true. And parents have placed their trust in Disney to deliver their trust. Okay. It seems yeah. widely off-brand. For Disney Plus to add TV, MA, and R-rated programming to this platform, mm -hmm. ostensibly to increase subscription revenue, when to continue. So what comes next? Adding live striptease performances <laughs> and Fantasia Land at Disney World? You tell them, Karen. Man, hold up. You Elliot, tell them. Um, uh, Elliot, I got to know, man. They're yeah, adding man. all these shows right here. And yeah. People are pissed off. It's what over. do you think? What, what do you think about this, man? You think this it's is a, a legit deal. argument or, mm -hmm. or you think they're losing their minds? Disney, it's uh, it's a sad day. Hell has frozen <laughs> over, man. This is the end of Disney. This is this is it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Disney is no longer a family oriented company. Um, Karen and her um, other soccer moms have spoken. Um, this is despicable. This is uh, outright. I mean, how? Come on. Like Karen said, what's next? Are we gonna have? We're gonna be serving liquor to the kids at, at Disney World? Are we gonna start popping Molly? Uh, you know, at, at Disney World? What are we doing out here, uh, Disney? How you can allow this filth on your platform? It's it's outrageous. <laughs> Come on, man. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous, man. Like what they have nothing better else to do. And first off, I guess they're like, how did I <laughs> they found they, they're watching and scrolling through Netflix? Well, I guess it's not even on Disney Plus yet. It's on the 16th. But uh, it's, it's ridiculous, man. It's it's absolutely ridiculous for yeah. them to get all wound up about this. As as you read in the article and a lot of people are bringing up parental control. Uh, and, and let's be honest, like the parents in parental control. I mean, your kids. They're watching Netflix, right? You, you right. have Netflix subscription, and Netflix has a friend, a family friendly uh, section. And click over next to it, they can watch even more dirtier stuff than this on Netflix. So, I mean, I don't know what the argument is here. This is ridiculous. Um, if you don't want your kids to watch it, put the password on it. <laughs> you know, give them their iPad. They can watch their Door of the Explorers or their, right. you know, whatever the new kids show is. I mean, this is crazy, man. This is absolutely ridiculous. But hey, this is the world we live in. Yeah, man. Uh, I, I echo in everything you said. You said it perfectly. Um, you know, this is just ridiculous. And I think somebody left a comment. Was it you, Zia, the saying that the people need to get a life? Uh, of course, we have the printer controls. This is a non-argument. It, it just doesn't make any sense. You know, um, do I think that uh, what's, what's the old CEO's name? Not Chapik, but uh, Iger. Do I think Iger would have done this? Maybe not. But I'm not mad at Chapik for giving them the green light. This is something that I do agree with, you know, uh, as far as Bob Chapik, if, if you are the decision maker here. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, man, this is, uh, I mean, you got the parental controls. You got the different profiles. So this just doesn't make sense. So and we got the defenders and all this and Daredevil and the Punisher yeah. and, you know. And let me, let's, I could not find an official article. Mm -hmm. But since we're talking about Daredevil, uh, Char I think Charlie Cox did come out recently and say that <clears throat> this is going to be a different version 
of Daredevil when he right. comes to the right. MCU. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. do you believe that I think you're saying yes now? And uh yeah. do, do you like that? I, I think it's a good idea. I think it should be a fresh reboot from Netflix. What do you think? Yeah, I think um, I mean, even though I wasn't the biggest fan of the interpretation of uh, Kingpin and, and Hawkeye, I was <laughs> I, I'll never forget over that. That was ridiculous what we saw with that. I mean oh, Kate man. Bishop taking on Kingpin like to breeze but okay uh but no it makes sense because yeah of course you can't tie bring all that baggage into a series you know refresh it maybe have some hints towards things that we've seen on the show but i think it's just a bright idea to to refresh the character retell some new stories dive into other comics that daredevil um it's synonymous for so yeah i think it's a good idea to reboot it even though I, oh, it, it hurts me that we don't get to see that um you know bullseye versus uh you know how we ended season three you know bullseye becoming bullseye and going against uh you know matt murdoch i, I would have loved to have seen that but i think it's okay for us to reboot especially now that daredevil can interact with spider-man and you know all the different other characters blade and moon knight so i think it's safe to move on to uh, new stories with that character